guys, welcome back to Kara Jo Plans, where I am planning and my budgeting my way through this crazy life as a single mom, full-time employee, and entrepreneur. Today we are going to be doing a plan with me and my Liveridge planner for the week of June 20th through the 26th using the Babushka kit from Life in Envelopes, which I have prepped with some of my stickers here. Um, cute little floral design, pretty blues and yellows. So we're going to get this one set up in here. And this is the end of the second week that my kids have been out of town with their dad. So they should be back very soon. Um, and I'm kind of ready for them to be back. It's been kind of nice not having a ton of places to run to. Um, a little bit boring every now and then as well. But overall, it was good, and it seems like they had a great time, so that's all we can really ask for. Um, today, I finished trimming my hedges out front, because this year they seem to grow, like, super fast. I usually cut them, um, like, right around the 4th of July or a little bit after, but they really needed it, and I just got a new hedge trimmer that has a really like long telescoping pole because my hedges are like literally as tall as me and I can't get anybody to pull them out for me but so I trim them and then I have this little area over to the side that the previous owner had had like a really nice little like landscaped like curved area with lilies and I don't know what else was in there but I honestly haven't touched it since I moved into this house um, moved into this house 11 years ago last month. So this summer it looked like a very yucky, nasty, weeded, bleh. So I started chopping at that too with the uh, hedge trimmers. So hopefully we can get that at least looking not so wild and overgrown, but definitely not going to be landscaped this year. I would like to someday have somebody come in and landscape and rip all those bushes out for me and give me something that's like super low maintenance and still looks nice with the front of my house um but again that's not a priority that's an i would like to so someday maybe i got a ton of other stuff i want to do but so wednesday night my mom and i went out to dinner to texas roadhouse because that is like one of her favorite places that she never gets to go. So we went to Texas Roadhouse and then we went to see the Top Gun movie. Oh my goodness, guys. I, okay, let me preface. Top Gun was one of my favorite movies, like all time favorite movies. It's right up there with like Mary Poppins and A Few Good Men for me. Um, that's just kind of my style. I love those movies. So Top Gun was always one of my favorites. So I was very nervous going into this that they were going to not ruin my favorite movie. I, ugh, oh my gosh, guys. When I wasn't holding my breath during this movie, I was honestly like sobbing with emotion. I've never been so emotionally invested in a movie in my life from start to finish I was there for it and it was so good so good um, everything about the first movie that they incorporated they did it justice I I loved it if you guys have seen it let me know what you guys thought of it because I honestly I loved it and I want to go see it 5,000 more times um, yeah so That'll be added probably to my all-time favorite movies as well <laughs> at some point. Oh, I get so excited just talking about it. <laughs> I loved it. Oh my gosh. I loved it. I, I've never... There, there aren't that many movies that excite me this much. Like I said, like A Few Good Men, I could recite the whole thing to you probably. Mary Poppins, my favorite Disney movie. And Top Gun. Like, Top Gun was like the movie I grew up on. That and Dirty Dancing, which, looking back on it, I really question my parents on letting me watch Dirty Dancing in the 80s when I was like five. Like, well, 
were they thinking? Did they just assume that I had no idea what was happening? Which I had no idea what was happening until I went to college and watched Dirty Dancing again as an adult. And I was, I, I like immediately called my mom and I'm like, mom, did you know? Like she let me watch that. She's like, yeah, you didn't know what it was about. I was like, okay, fair enough. And then it kind of got me thinking like all these movies like Honestly, guys, have you ever seen Shrek? Do you know how many adult jokes are in Shrek? And that's listed as a kid's movie. I don't know. Not really the same thing, but just kind of thinking. <sighs> Either way. <sighs> so back in the swing of things this week should be a semi-busy week. A um, couple of appointments going on kids will have taekwondo again we've got a belt test for taekwondo for jackson logan's not quite ready to test again so i'll have to see how that goes we do have their baptism this sunday which i think they're pretty excited about um what else we got going on i think we're probably going to go to kennywood on saturday depending on the weather again so I'll put that on the schedule at least. That way, if we don't, then I have open time. But let's see here. So Monday, we will have a bath night. Tuesday, we will have trash day. Thursday will be Taekwondo. And a bath night. And I forgot to tell my mom, but yearbooks weren't ready at the end of the school year for the kids. So they're doing a little thing from four to seven where the kids can go and pick up their yearbooks and whoever's there, they can sign each other's yearbooks, whatever. So we'll, hopefully my mom will be able to run them out for that for a little bit. And then they do have a dentist appointment on Tuesday, which their dad will take them to. And hopefully we can get Logan's loose teeth pulled because they've been loose forever. They're just not coming out. And then he's got therapy on Wednesday, which I will have to leave work early to take him to that. And this week is payday. Uh, 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 I don't want to put that there. I want to put it here. I'm starting to do like a morning routine thing up there. So I want to leave that space for that morning routine up at the top. Um, belt test is two to three on Sunday. Let me double check that as I put the sticker down. Uh, yep, two to three. And I work kid check and we have church on Sunday morning as well. And we'll plan on doing Kennywood on Saturday. That will definitely be a bath night. And Sunday night. And they will be at their dad's house on Tuesday. Have a lunch meeting on Thursday. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Oh, so out in the stuff that I was cleaning up, I'm really hoping <laughs> that I don't get poison ivy because there was a ton of it in there. Um, I've never gotten poison ivy in my whole life, so I am hopeful that I will not get it this time either. Um, I don't know. I know I've been around poison before and I just don't seem to get it. So 
we'll see we'll see how it goes but what do you guys think you think I'm gonna get poison ivy do you do ya then if we don't stay at Kennywood all day we'll do a movie night Saturday night and I am definitely taking a nap on Sunday and I will need to try to cut my grass probably Sunday as well Oh my, and then I don't know, we'll try to do Tuesday night for date night this week because I'll have the kids Monday night. Mm -mm -mm. I'll need to film some reels. Do some content planning. So the kids went to the Ark Encounter yesterday. I don't know what day it was. So can't wait to hear how that was. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, Logan was super excited to go see it. He watches The Carpet Bagger here on YouTube. And The Carpet Bagger is like a traveling video blog vlog thing. So he was really excited because everywhere The Carpet Bagger goes, like, he likes to go. And what's really crazy is the carpetbagger was traveling the Lincoln Highway as his last like road trip. And so he passes through our area and sometimes he stops at Kennywood and sometimes he stops at like Idlewild and some other places. But the really weird part was while the kids were in Nebraska, well they were on their way to Nebraska, but he was at the Omaha Zoo like two days before they got there and he was at Kennywood on like the regular opening day and we were there on season pass holder day so like we keep missing him oh and you know what he was at down in Disney the same week we were down there too but he wasn't at the same parks the same days we were so like the kids have gotten so close to actually meeting the carpetbagger and we've just missed him like every single time but we've been so close I didn't even tell them that he was in Omaha when they were. Um, but it's kind of fun. He goes to some really neat places. Um, not always like popular destinations. Some of them are like roadside attractions and kind of off the beaten path, which is really neat because it's nice to see different things and know that there's more out there than like the biggest advertised things. So I enjoy watching him too. I, I actually watched him a long time before my kids did. Um, so this is the top part where I am kind of doing like my routine of the things that I really want to get done in the morning before I head to work, etc. Up here in this spot that's kind of like up in the air, like 5.30 in the morning. I'm not really there, but some of this stuff doesn't take the whole half hour. So I want to get this stuff up here. And then i'm gonna figure out what i need i'm gonna eat for dinner tonight because i actually have groceries i went and picked up groceries tonight which i haven't done since like a week before the kids left um i did stuff for milk the other day so i could eat some more cereal but i've really just been kind of like cleaning out the pantry and all that fun stuff this week while the kids are gone because i really didn't have to cook and there just there really wasn't any food in the house so i did get food tonight and I'm kind of looking forward to having some of it. So I'm still trying to decide what I want to make for dinner. I got some good fruits and veggies. I got some stuff to make a um, pasta dish with sausage that I like. Um, cheese, lunch meat and cheese for sandwiches. And I definitely got more coffee creamer, which is a must around here. And we were out of ice cream and my kids have been on like an ice cream kick lately. So I did get more of that and I couldn't find any party cake ice cream. The last time I ordered party cake ice cream from Walmart, they gave me like one of those, um, I call them personal size jugs of ice cream or whatever. Like honestly, it's like the size of a coffee mug and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? This is like a single serving. Come on. Um, but that's what my son likes, so 
and I did I wasn't able to find him any this time so he got plain vanilla this time and my other son likes chocolate and vanilla mixed so we got those and I got myself some New York cheesecake ice cream so I think that will be dessert for tonight and I don't know I still don't know what I'm gonna make depends I guess on how hot my kitchen is once I get out there because it's pretty hot here right now uh, uh, I think we got everything except content plan so I'll put that on there and there it is my week busies itself up again um, yeah I think I got everything covered oh, I do want to put this on here just because I like to color cover this up um, but other than that not too much else going on still cranking out the reels and the fun stuff on the Instagrams so if you're not over there go ahead and check it out I am gonna be doing a special event coming up next week I think um, you'll want to be on the lookout for that on Instagram and Facebook it's going to be free gifts with um, some purchases with the hair care that I've started representing super love that but I got some really awesome gift bo boxes for that so make sure you check that out if you love gift boxes and want some free stuff um other than that thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble tonight i feel like i was very talkative probably because i haven't had kids to talk to for two weeks so don't forget to subscribe like and leave some comments down below and i will see you in the next video have a great day